and previously it used to be so like a pump mm. just pumping out hey Hey guys, love guys. Today we are going to watch five reasons the U.S. military will make you dead. Oh. And like I think so that we all know that U.S. military is very very strong. But always we see that big militaries like India, China, and Russia they say that okay we also have the power to fight USA. But we have to see these reasons why the U.S. military will make you dead. So let's watch the video. Here are five of all time deadliest innovations in America's arsenal. Wow. Number one. The Gatling gun. Gatling, Gatling gun. gun. Oh, it's like a machine gun only. First ah. fielded during the American Civil War, which to this day is the deadliest war in U.S. history, with over six hundred thousand military dead. Oh. The Gatling gun was one of the first rapid-fire weapons in history. Consisting of multiple barrels rotating around a central axis, the weapon, invented by Richard Gatling, oh, solved the problem of providing sustained Actually. fires for the first time in the gunpowder age. Initially, hey. the U.S. Army, what due to the services Gatling gun only, nature, I think so. was reluctant to adopt Gatling's invention. Old one. After Gatling had improved on his initial six-barrel design that fired 350 rounds per minute, the huh. Army oh. did eventually adopt oh. the new weapon. 350 bullets per minute. It was first used in 1864 at the Battle of Petersburg in Virginia. After the end of the Civil War, the Army used a 10-barrel Gatling gun that could fire 400 rounds per minute during various conflicts with the Native American population in what are now the Western states. Oh. The Maxim machine gun eventually replaced the Gatling gun, but the crude hand-driven weapon heralded what was to come. During the brutal trench warfare of World War One. Untold thousands fell to machine gun fire. And previously it used to be so like a pump, mm. just pumping out. Hey. That thing. Number two, penis. the atomic bomb. Atomic bomb. Atomic But bomb. more countries have it. Most of very the big United countries States have it. The United States developed the atomic bomb during the height of the Second World War mm. under a program called the Manhattan Project. The project kicked off in 1939 when the Advisory Committee on Uranium told President Franklin Roosevelt that the element would provide a possible source of bombs with a destructiveness vastly greater than anything now known. Oh. Work on the bomb went into overdrive after the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941, when the United States formally entered World War II against Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. Much of the urgency was driven by the belief that the Nazis were working on their own version of the bomb. Oh. The project eventually succeeded. And they won. The two weapon that is why they were able to do. brought the Second World War to an end. On August 6th, 1945, a lone B-29 bomber called Enola Gay, commanded by Colonel Paul Tibbets, destroyed the city of Hiroshima mm -hmm. with a single 15 kiloton nuclear weapon called Little Boy. Little oh. boy. A few days This later, is little oh, boy. One kiloton yield weapon called Fat Man destroyed Nagasaki on August 9th, 1945. Destroyed the whole city. Seeing the writing on the wall, the Emperor of Japan ordered an unconditional surrender. Hmm. The world would never be the same with the dawn of the atomic era. Yeah. But I still think that this is not big of a deal because, like all the other countries, also like Russia. China, India, Pakistan, every big other country has atomic bombs now. I think so it's 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 about the quantity. Even in Might quantity, be. I think so. Russia is ahead. I I really? think so. uh, we uh, we read in or we saw in one video where oh. Russia was ahead. And but the thing is, India is alive with both the countries, Russia and America. So mm. we don't have any problem much mm. with that. And also like first Gatling gun, I think so. That I have only seen with American planes and uh, like American ships only. So mm. that is one thing they have that nobody else has. Number three, precision guided weapons. Oh, guided weapons. This also, I think, other countries have, but majority of them are with the U.S. One of America's decisive advantages. No, but majority of them are with the U.S. to hit targets precisely. During most of history, war has basically been about throwing a huge volume of fire at a target, with a small chance of actually hitting anything. The introduction of precision guided weapons changed all that. Hmm. For example. When the Eighth Air Force launched a massive air raid to knock out German ball bearing plants in 1943, it launched around 400 B-17 wow. bombers to hit the targets. Most of the bombs, dropped at appalling cost in men and aircraft, didn't even come close to hitting their targets. Oh. The pattern has repeated itself over and over, and entire squadrons would be launched to hit a single target. 
More that is wasted of money. They wouldn't hit a thing. So much wasted. That all changed towards the end of the Vietnam War. In 1972, laser guided bombs allowed US Air Force and US Navy jets to hit targets precisely. Oh. Instead of dozens of jets trying to strike a single target in vain, one jet, one jet can one hit target. multiple targets during a sortie. While in 1972, there were only a handful of precision-guided weapons available, in 2015, almost all weapons dropped from American warplanes are precision-guided. Oh, wow. Precision-guided weapons have given U.S. forces the edge for the past 40 years. This, I think but so, is the difference, that they have so many and they have the most best generation one like okay I think the advanced one ah, like even like I have a smartphone and somebody else also has, has a smartphone but they might have a smartphone that does not have all the features and I have so that is the difference so mm. yes they have a good advantage it's an advantage that is starting to slip as other nations develop their own equivalent weapons oh <laughs> Number four, stealth. stealth. They are way ahead in this. So many stealth With weapons. the development of ever more capable Soviet surface-to-air weapons during the 1960s and 1970s, the United States Air Force had to come up with a solution to defeat the ever-increasing threat. The answer was oh, stealth wow. technology, which would reduce an aircraft's this radar very so costly. and infrared signature. One billion dollars. Ironically, it was a Soviet scientist by the name of Pyotr Ufimtsev oh. who first discovered the equations to develop a low-radar cross-section aircraft. Ufimtsev's work eventually came to the attention of Lockheed engineer Denis Overholzer, who then developed the configuration for the first stealth aircraft, wow. which he called the Hopeless Diamond. Hopeless Diamond? The Hopeless Diamond, diamond eventually hopeless. evolved into the Lockheed F-117, the world's first operational stealth aircraft in 1981. It looks very bad. From that initial starting point, American stealth aircraft development took off in new directions. The B-2, F-22, awesome. F-35, and pretty much every other American stealth aircraft originates from those early sort efforts like to defeat UFO. the Soviet air defense system. The net result today is the nearly unstoppable juggernaut that is the U.S. Air Force. Mm, no match. They are the best. Long live India and U.S. friendship. <laughs> Number five, drones. drones. Oh, I didn't expect that. That's different. When Abe Karev first developed the Nat, which eventually evolved in the General Atomics MQ-1 Predator, he probably could not have imagined his invention would herald a revolution in the ways wars are fought. Really? Instead of risking lives over the battlefield, American forces can fight remotely with these new systems. Like games, they're playing games. While initially considered a passing fad, the past 15 years have shown that unmanned aircraft are here to stay, mm. and war will never be the same. Actually. The MQ-1 Predator, which was first introduced over the Balkans in 1990s, is a crude aircraft. Its follow-on, the MQ-9C Reaper, is a little more sophisticated, but it's the start of something that will change warfare forever. Oh. Aircraft like the carrier-based Northrop Grumman X-47B are starting to show the true potentials of such machines. Wow. Indeed, cool. aircraft without pilots might be the dominant weapon during the remaining decades of this century. Actually, you will not as lose human life. Today, Navy Secretary Ray Mabus told an audience that the U.S. Navy will never buy another manned strike fighter again after the F-35C. Oh. And if Mabus's vision comes to fruition, unmanned aircraft will give the U.S. unmatched capabilities well into the future. Actually, these are five amazing reasons that you should not mess with US military because they are something else. Like even the drones, I think that they are very high in technology. Because as far as I know about India, like we recently bought some drones from Turkey. And of course, whenever you buy some drones, then it shows that uh, those countries have, you know, fifth or sixth generation and they give you third or fourth generation. Mm -hmm. So always you get the second version only. So that is the thing. So we are way behind and US always makes those things. So whenever you make those things, you are always ahead. Definitely. And we have been watching a lot of videos regarding jets and all these things and we have also seen the comparisons of Russia and America and for me what I think is not uh, just about the technology wise and the things they are sharp enough to you know to target the things to 
make the plannings for me i feel because you know um, from an outside view they will think that oh, whoever country has more weapons that is more powerful but for me i feel that weapons are very important but still the tactics the plannings the the things they you know the design they uh, they do the things i think that is important and america is far ahead yes and i think all. so the number one reason should be that they manufacture amazing technology and they are always ahead in manufacturing so that is the reason that us will make you dead so what do you guys think about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye. Oh, 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 oh,